Hello everyone, welcome back. Pi Day is upon us again, and it's time for another one of my almost annual Pi Days. Aren't you lucky? Now before I begin, please go to tfvc.org forward slash sub, tfvc.org forward slash sub to subscribe to be notified when new recipes and other content will be available. Now today I thought I would make something that I've been wanting to veganize for a long time. I lived in Florida for almost 10 years and the few times that I have gone down to Key West, I've always wanted to have their key lime pie, but since it has eggs in it, I wasn't able to have any. So I thought I'd veganize it for you and give you a taste of the Florida Keys. Now let's go ahead and find out what tools and ingredients we're going to need to make this dish. The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups and measuring spoons, a knife, a pie server, a zester, rubber spatula, a lime squeezer, a cooling rack, a mixing bowl, a wire sifter, a pie tin. We'll also need a mixer with a wire attachment, a blender, and a food processor with the blade attachment. The ingredients that you're going to need to make this key lime pie is, for the graham cracker crust, one and a half cups of graham cracker crumbs, and I put these in the food processor until they are crummy. Make sure you read the ingredients of the graham crackers. A lot of them contain honey. Just look for one that doesn't contain honey. One tablespoon of frangelico, one fourth cup of vegan sugar, one teaspoon of my cinnamon mixture, one fourth cup of earth balance that's been melted, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. For the filling, what you'll need is two tablespoons of agar agar, and this you can find in the natural foods store in with all the baked goods if you can't find it. I have a link at my website at thefatveganchef.com where you can buy it online. Two tablespoons of water, one can of sweetened condensed coconut milk, two thirds cup of fresh squeezed key lime juice, and make sure you get the fresh squeeze, you actually fresh squeeze your limes. These are what the key limes are gonna look like. Get these, not the regular limes, not the stuff in the bottle. It's a little bit of work, but it's well worth it. You also need two teaspoons of key lime zest, and just a hint, zest the limes first and then squeeze them. One fourth teaspoon of salt, one third cup of cashews that are unroasted and unsalted, these I have soaked overnight. You will also need one half of my whipped cream recipe. And with that recipe, add in one half teaspoon of key lime zest. You can find the recipe at thefatveganchef.com. Now that we know what tools and ingredients we need to make this dish, go ahead and pause the video. Gather the tools and ingredients up, and I'll meet you back here. Welcome back, everyone. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's heating, we'll go ahead and make the pie crust. Take your graham crackers, sea salt, cinnamon mixture, and sugar. And again, that's one and a half cups graham cracker crumbs, one fourth cup of vegan sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon mixture, and one eighth teaspoon of salt. Give this a quick mix. Add your one quarter cup of melted earth balance or vegan butter and the one tablespoon of frangelico. Now give this a good stir and that until everything is nice and incorporated and wet. Transfer this over to your glass pie tin. Now go ahead and press the graham cracker crust into the tin and you want to push the graham cracker up the edges of the pie crust. Okay, the graham cracker crust is ready to go. I'm gonna bake this in the oven for 10 minutes and then put it on the cooling rack. So I'll see you back in 10 minutes. I have my pie crust out of the oven. It's cooling on the cooling rack. You wanna keep your oven at 350 degrees so we can cook the actual pie. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the quote unquote egg white. And that's gonna be two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of agar. Put that in a bowl and we're gonna whisk it up with the whisk attachment on our mixer. I have this thoroughly uh, blended together. Now I'm going to put this in a bowl and set this aside. 
Now it's time to make the key lime pie filling. What you want to do is put soaked cashews in the blender. And this is one third cup of cashews that I've soaked overnight. The two thirds cup of key lime juice that's been fresh squeezed. One fourth teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of key lime zest. And I'm gonna blend this until the cashews are completely blended. The cashews are completely blended. Now I'm going to add a sweetened condensed coconut milk. Now I'm gonna puree this until it's well blended. Now I'm gonna add in the agar mixture. Okay, it's fully blended. Now I'm gonna pour this in my pie crust. Now I'm gonna bake this for 10 to 20 minutes in the 350 degree oven. I'm gonna pull it out, put it in the cooling rack, let it cool for an hour at room temperature, then put it in the refrigerator and let it cool overnight. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. The pie is nice and cool. So now it's time to cut into this. And if you've seen any of my pie videos before, you know the proper way of cutting into this. That's right, a hot, dry knife. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill up this glass with the hottest water that's coming out of your faucet, or if you have a water kettle, you can use that. <laughs> Not experiencing an earthquake, ladies and gentlemen. That is my kitten that's decided to play underneath the camera. And she's shaking the tripod. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my kettle. And I'm gonna fill this cup up with hot water and I'm going to place the knife into the hot water and then I also have a clean dry towel. What we'll do is we'll take the, ta the knife, wipe off the water and the towel and then we're going to carefully cut into this pie and I'm going to cut it into eight pieces. Put the knife in the hot water, dry it off, cut, and we're going to repeat. All right, my pie is cut. I'm going to go ahead and set my hot water and my knife to the side. And then I have a pie spatula, so I'm going to very carefully try to lift a piece out of the pan. I've got the key lime pie on a plate. Now I'm gonna go ahead and serve it with some of my whipped cream. A nice little dollop right there. Garnish it with a piece of key lime and a little bit of key lime zest. Doesn't that look good? If you like this recipe, please find The Fat Vegan Chef at Patreon and donate a coffee or beer a month to help keep us going. You can find other ways by going to tfvc.org forward slash donate. Also, please subscribe to be notified of new content. Go to tfvc.org forward slash sub to sign up. Also, feel free to follow us at your favorite social media site. Just look for The Fat Vegan Chef. Don't forget to share this recipe with your friends and family as well. Now I must go because this pie is calling my name. Bye y'all.